Okay, so this is just a quick update on some of my current research. Um, there's a device called the Kula device. It's a uh, Russian uh, YouTube member. There's been a lot of discussion over Unity.com, over UnityResearch.com, and what really got my interest was some unique transformer designs. I'm using a pot core transformer, some alum or some copper tape or copper foil and uh, some pretty fascinating uh, research with transformer design. So I didn't have time to build up the circuit board that Akula uses. There's a whole thread on that over unity.com with that particular circuit board. What I've done is connected it to the jewel ringer circuit. Uh, so laserhacker.com for the schematic on that incredibly simple way to drive different transformer cores. I've since been 3D printing a lot of different bobbins uh, for transformer cores so that I can try out different uh, ideas and different transformers rapidly. So I'm kind of excited about all of this. Now what I have done, and I'll explain it here real quick, and again this video is just a quick update. I'm not going into the thorough schematic on how to replicate this. I will do that as I proceed with this. But this is a snapshot of my work in progress. So let me just go over real quickly what I've done. I've got two electrolytic capacitors here. These are 50 volt uh, electrolytic capacitors. And uh, what I've done, the only difference between the regular jewel ringer circuit and this one, besides the unique transformer, is I come off of my load here, and I'm sorry about the rat's nest of wires, but I come off my load and I come to a, a rectifier. And then I come over from the AC line of this rectifier back to the transistor. So it's exactly like the regular jewel ringer circuit, except uh, normally on that one I return from my load right to the transistor, but in line from that I put this rectifier. All right, so from this rectifier, what I do is I come over here to this 50 volt electrolytic capacitor, and that charges that up, so that's what's going on there. Then from that electrolytic capacitor I come to this DC to DC converter. These are really nice, they're two to three bucks. Um, I'll put a link to these at laserhacker.com, so check out the video description for a link to my website and I'll put the links to these parts. Very interesting little part to experiment with. And from that DC to DC converter, I'm coming right back here to the capacitor that basically drives the load. All right, so what I wanna show here is I've got the scope connected, it's just set on the load here so we can see the waveform and that's useful in tuning this. So I'm going to disconnect the looping circuitry. So right now this thing's running, but I've broken the uh, output of the looping circuitry. And I just want to show the runtime when I disconnect that I get with this particular setup. So I'm disconnecting from the uh, power supply now. And you can see it backs up real quick. It drops down to a low oscillation point, oscillates for a while, which is pretty interesting in and of itself, blinks a few times, and at some point there, now the oscillations have completely died. So. To restart it, I have to add a little bit of uh, resistance across the load terminals. There we go. All right, so you saw the uh, behavior of the circuit with the loop disconnected. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the, the looping piece of the circuitry. So now we've got the loop connected and I'm going to disconnect from the power supply and check out the difference in both the waveform and the way the circuit runs. So you can see the frequency change, it then pauses and holds at this brighter intensity. And the difference in runtime with it loops versus non loops is quite surprising to me. And definitely something that I'm thoroughly researching and uh, exploring. So you can see just a major, major difference with the circuit looped versus non looped. Um, sometimes it's hard to, to start the circuit again if it's in the looped mode like you see there. So in order to get to start, I have to disconnect the uh, loop portion of the circuit and uh, start it up again. Now I want to go over just a little bit on tuning this loop in this circuit. There's a little pot on here on the uh, DC to DC converter board. And depending on how you tune this pot, you can actually radically change the way the loop runs. So I'm going to turn down the voltage on the DC DC converter output. At a certain point, you'll hear the circuit change and start, and the uh, frequency will start adjusting. There we go, right there. So that's too far back. So let me back off from there a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect load, and you'll see the frequency change and the oscillation start dying off real fast. Now I'm going to back off here in the pot 
And by tweaking and adjusting this, you can get to a point where the uh, circuit runs in that long, uh, continuous ringing oscillation mode. There, it backs up and goes into a mode like this and starts to hold. Now you can see it's, it's not tuned as well as I had it tuned earlier, but you can definitely begin to get a, a continuous run out of this that's substantially longer than running in the non-looped mode. So. All right, that's getting closer. I'm going to back off here in the pot a little more. So that's, you can tell that that's starting to reach a fair amount of stability there. And you can see the frequency dropping off and everything changing, but the amount of runtime is substantially longer at this position on the pot. So anyway, all very fascinating. It's uh, interesting stuff. So one other thing I want to show here is I've got the ground connection connected to this uh, transistor here. And this is one of the few circuits I've ever seen where grounding at different points actually radically affects the runtime. So to give an illustration of that, I'm going to ground to the positive here on the looping uh, capacitor. So I'm grounded to the positive line. Now when I disconnect, check out the waveform and, and watch what happens. It dies off to about there, holds for a while. Very nice uh, wave shape.